and I work out with a group of women that we've all become friends now, but we're all in the same age group. My friend that I work out with, um, is the youngest. She's 43. I think the oldest one is 49. And the other women are just, they're shredded. They are absolutely just completely ripped. Mm -hmm. And they swear, not like giving it all the credit to this, but they all take, can we say the name of it or is it better not to? Does it matter? I don't think it matters. Not yet. It will someday probably, <laughs> but the perfect amino supplement, yeah. which states to have 30 grams of protein in five capsules. And they take two or sometimes three servings a day. One of them's vegan. So she kind of uses yeah. it as her protein source. Yeah. So my question for you is, is that a supplement for food-based protein? Is it the same as a protein shake? It's supposed to help with recovery. It's supposed to help with muscle building. So, you know, I got on the bandwagon and got some and it tastes terrible, but if yeah. it works. You know, the question is, are these good? Are these bad? I think they're fine, especially around the time of exercise, but they're not going to cover you as far as total protein. So needs. they don't count. Like if you were doing macros, they wouldn't count towards your daily protein goal, um, right? I don't know that I'd count them towards the protein goal. I mean, Dang it. I've been it, doing really good with that. I've been like 180. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't, you know, cause they're such, you know, wrap it in and wrap it out and all that stuff. So I, I don't, I personally wouldn't count them gram for gram towards that goal. Them? Yeah, sure. If I had them, but I wouldn't go out and search them out.